that you pray in tongues. Now listen please, the subject of praying in the spirit or praying in tongues has been an age-long debate. But let me tell you this, I'm not here to create any further arguments. I can tell you based on the authority of scripture and in the experience of my own life and those who have modeled Christ in a way that is enviable, you will never have a truly rich spiritual life if you do not open up yourself to receive as an added advantage to the life of God that you have received this gift of the prayer language. It has nothing to do with being a Pentecostal or being a charismatic, unfortunately. I know the reason why uh, other faith, you know, denominations that are a lot more modest is because of the way tongues is administered. It's administered with a lot of foolishness and carelessness and it makes it so unattractive. There's a way people do it that you say, no, I'm not, I'm not into this, this madness. But there is a decent way of engaging the prayer language such that you get maximum utility from that gift. By this, I'm calling on anyone here who is yet to be filled with the Holy Spirit with evidence of fluent tongues. Fluent tongues, like any other language. Are we together? Fluent tongues. Open up your spirit to receive tonight and then you can always be open to receive from our prayer department it was designed with that as one of the assignments a platform that gives you opportunity to be filled with the holy spirit something happens to you when you engage in the spirit consistently consistently again my reservation goes to our dear pentecostals and charismatics because of the misuse of this gift it's been so battered that it's brought reproach to the name of the Lord. How could God give such a gift that looks like it makes people mad? No, sir. Anything that comes from God is good and it is perfect. If it was misused, it came as a result of ignorance. Who is learning? Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. A weak man becomes strong when you pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. An undiscerning person becomes a person of such profound discernment. Praying in the spirit helps you to access illumination by the spirit. There are so many things you miss when you do not submit yourself to the prayer language in tongues. Can we go to the second prayer model? The second prayer model that the Bible reveals is faith-filled declaration of scriptures faith filled declaration of scripture this is the second prayer model that we see faith filled declaration of scripture psalm 102 verse 2 and 3 psalm 102 2 and 3 hide not thy face from me in the day when i am in trouble incline thy ear unto me in the day when i call answer me speedily verse 3 for my days are consumed like smoke and my bones are burned like Psalm 107, not 102. We're reading 107 media, help us. Let the redeemed, that's right. Let the redeemed of the Lord, Koinonia, let the redeemed of the Lord, whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy, verse 3. The Bible says, and gather them out of the lands from the east, the west, the north, and the south. Let the redeemed of the Lord not just believe so, not just know so, but say so. Let the healed of the Lord say so. Let the prosperous of the Lord say so. Make faith-filled declarations. It is a kind of prayer. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4, please. Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 4. The second scriptural model, the Bible says to pray all kinds of prayers. It says where the word of a king, for instance, Joshua Selman is, it says there is power. Where the word of a king, he has made us kings unto our God. You believe you are royalty? Don't just say I am royalty. You must utilize the blessings that come. Keep that scripture, please. Where the word of a king is, there is power. But that power is released through words. When kings are silent, everything goes wrong. But when they speak, what they speak becomes law. It becomes decrees. Are we together? Faith-filled declarations of scripture. I give you an example of what that means. So you go to the place of prayer. In addition to praying in the spirit, you begin to make declarations. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit 
that the hand of God is upon my life. Favor is at work in my life. You are literally carrying scripture and you are speaking it. I am a blessing. I decree and declare that in me, all the families of the earth are blessed. A thousand shall fall by my side, 10,000 by my right side, but none shall hurt me with my eyes shall I see and behold the reward of the wicked. It is a powerful dimension of prayer. Declaring scripture, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. When men say there is a casting down, I decree and declare that there is a lifting up. Are we together? The Lord compasses me with favor like a shield. In the name of Jesus Christ, Gentiles come to my light and their kings to the brightness of my rising. For my shame I receive double. Where men have deserted me so that no one would pass through me, I become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid of? The Lord is the strength of my light. They may come against me in one way, but they will scatter in seven ways. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon my lot. Are we together now? Faith-filled declaration. If you are too big to declare scripture, you are also too big to see it happen in your life. Never get to a point in the spirit where declaring scripture looks like childishness. It is how God created the heavens and the earth. And God said, the righteousness that is of faith speaks. It doesn't assume, it speaks. In the name of Jesus it was Papa Copeland who would say that sometimes he will go to the place of prayer and he's declaring scripture on all his organs my lungs are functioning well my head is functioning well in the name of Jesus no madness I will wake up coordinated no incoherence people laughed at him but many who laughed have long died the man is still alive walking today in his 80s he's still running conferences be careful when inexperienced people without result want to create a template for your destiny they would destroy you and repent later on are we together it's changing everything in obedience to Christ He's recreating everything in obedience to Christ. Restoring everything in obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. It's in obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. That's what God is doing. God is showing you where you are missing it. For some of us, when you go to the place of prayer, you would stay there for long, but there's no efficiency. You are not declaring anything. Scriptural prayer model. You are making declarations. There are times that I just walk up and down. I'm walking around the house and I'm making declarations. You will think that, you see, my reality today is what I spoke yesterday. Tomorrow will show what I'm speaking now. Your words on, always go ahead of you. If you are not saying anything, don't be angry when you enter an empty room. An empty tomorrow. An empty tomorrow with no blessings, no favor, no helpers, no nothing. And you say, God, but this is unfair. He say, remember I gave you the will. You had the power to call helpers and schedule them like ushers in your tomorrow. And enter your tomorrow gallantly with honor. But you carelessly ignored it. Some of you calling this model childish. No, this is how kings reign. Declare scriptures by faith. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. He's rebuilding everything in obedience to Christ. I pray over Koinonia every day. And it's not only help. I speak. Speak to the ministry. Speak to your life. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says the path of the just. Not just the path of the ministry. The path of your own destiny too. The ministry is not a building. It's you. The path of the just is as a shining light. I expect testimonies every week revelations manifestations of the hand of God the word of God is coming with power you think I just prepare notes and come and preach my goodness my words arrive church before me I send the words in the name of Jesus willing ears open hearts deconstructing wrong beliefs old ideologies 
is changing everything in obedience to Christ he's redirecting everything in obedience to Christ. now let me tell you something if you refuse to declare over your life your destiny will receive anybody's declaration because man lives by words your destiny is not just looking for food it's also looking for words if it's not your words it will pick up any word like your phone picking up any wi-fi picking up anything in the air causes ill speakings the scourging tongues of men when someone says it will not be well with you as that word is coming it meets a fence of prophetic words already no enchantment and no divination against Joshua Selman shall stand. Surely they shall gather, but because their gathering is not of the Lord, they shall scatter. They come in one way, they disperse in seven ways. Apostle, but it looks like the spirit of death is looking for me. It's not only you, he's looking for all of us, my brother. It's not only you. Is looking for everyone including those living long don't allow any word just enter your garden and then you see the Bible says the seed is the word blessed in the city blessed in the country favored of the Lord Beulah Hephzibah the delight of the nations in the name of Jesus the hand of the Lord is upon me his grace is at work in me there is a spirit in me the inspiration of the Almighty makes me of understanding this is the house that the Lord has blessed I am planted in the house of God therefore I flourish in the courts of my God even in old age I am fat and flourishing all my organs are working perfectly the Bible says he keepeth his bones and none is missing he keepeth his bones listen listen koinonia listen to me please listen to me the times that we live in right now demand you being serious with your destiny if you keep quiet you see when the devil wants to attack you he knows that there are evil words already coming then he does something to your prayer life and while you are quiet you find out that something is growing in your garden causes pain trouble there are arrows that fly by day the arrows are not metallic objects the arrows are words the arrows are words my brother the arrows are not metallic objects no you think the arrow is wood with a, a sharp edge no the arrows are words oh let it not be well with him let it not be well with her. Let all her children become arm robbers. And you stand up and say, no way. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, in the name of Jesus, I build a garrison around my life. I build a garrison around this ministry. A thousand shall fall by my side, 10,000 by my right side. None shall hurt me. With my eyes shall I see and behold the reward of the wicked. As for me, the Lord is my inheritance. Do you believe what you're hearing? The school of prayer. Please sit down. Please sit down. Faith-filled declarations of scripture. Now I must say this. The key to engaging this prayer, this kind of prayer effectively, is a thorough knowledge of the promises of God. You have to be vast in understanding scripture. If you are not a student of the word, you cannot engage this prayer model. Because you see, you can't be checking your Bible. Um, Jeremiah 31 and verse 1. Oh God, I did. No, you need to have it so that it does not interrupt your pace of prayer. The word must be hidden in your heart. So the moment you begin to engage, for 30 minutes, you are just sending arrows from your spirit to your destiny. Ever and you know because the Holy Ghost is there helping you he's pushing the scriptures even the ones you don't know you know it's at the point of confession they will come out do you know if you are not praying you may not be able to confess 
to speak some of those scriptures you can't even remember them but the moment you start praying with accuracy the last time you read it was five years but it's like a regurgitation it's still there in your spirit go and ask preachers there are many times when they are off the pulpit they can't even quote back the scripture they were quoting while they were on stage they may forget everything but when that cloak comes upon them they will run the bible like a computer 